G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the biggest monstrosity of junk that I've ever paid for. And it's also one of the best days of my life because I'm getting all the trees cut down in the front yard. Listen to that chainsaw, it's beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> yep, I contracted some work out about three years ago for my, for my flat pack pickup that I was building. It was the back half of the cab. Um, it was only supposed to take a few months. Three years later, um, I received delivery of it, and it is the worst workmanship of anything I've ever seen in my life. Pay good money for it. The guy that made it took my money and run before I even saw it, and um, I got ripped pretty hard, which is pretty sad. But anyway, I've got to try and work with it, and uh, let's have a look. I'll show you what I got. So at first glance, you go, "Oh, that frame looks all right." The guy obviously doesn't own a decent MIG. Everything's done. Everything's been done with um, gasless. I don't know if you can see the worlds, it's just. An absolute abomination. Check this out. Three years. Check out the worlds. So this panel here, which obviously wasn't attached, or it might have been attached at one point, it's been cut out. That's the back window. Look at the swage on it. Look how wavy that is. You probably can't see it from that angle, but look how bad it is looking this way. I can get the sun out of the way. It's a dog's breakfast. And mind you, this was supposed to be a complete setup. Finished. Um, this is the bottom panel it looks like he started okay um, but what's going on with all this and look at the twist in it the world came supplied with another back window that's not finished probably same deal the swage is atrocious and I'm supposed to make one good panel out of these two bad panels. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I don't know what that's from, but it looks like a failed attempt and a bit of aggression with a hammer. The side doesn't have any swages, so that's another thing you've got to fix. Is giving me one swage for, I don't know, do I have to peel these ones off and put this one on? And I guess I've got to do something with this little piece here for repairs or something, I don't know. Thanks man, I appreciate it, eh? So I'm guessing wants me to use this swage for the other side. Have you ever heard the phrase, polishing a turd? Honestly, I go alright with metal, but I am working with the biggest, runniest turd you've ever tried to make into a sandcastle. Let me show you. So, the metal frame finishes here, but he's got it coming down to there with a the swage. So lining that swage up there, I've got a massive gap there. But also, these panels don't meet up, so I've got this big gap there. And if I come over this side, oh. I'm assuming that line's supposed to line up with that line, which it doesn't. Same deal. That doesn't. And over here, it doesn't fit. Like, that's coming over two inches here, but it's tight here. There's a massive gap there, which I'm guessing is for the swage, maybe. It just doesn't fit. That panel does not fit the frame that he's made. The real question is, where do I start on this abomination? 
I'm not even going to call it fabrication, it's just junk. I've got no idea. I'm going to have to put a 4 inch chop in this, so we'll probably worry about this top half later. Maybe get into the bottom and work our way up. It's going to be a lot of welding, a lot of cutting, a lot of hole filling. And unfortunately, there's got to be a lot of bulk. Let's try and make that minimal. I'm not out to name names, but this guy's trying to make an inroad into custom panels for Fords and Chevs and other bits and pieces. Nah. Give it up, buddy. Give it up. So I'm not normally one to vent my frustration online, but I've been waiting three years for this. Paid good money for it, and what I received is, I would call absolute rubbish. Um, I do have skills, I do have metal skills, it's going to take a lot of work to get this thing in the shape and it's going to put me back a lot in time. So today we're going to try and see if we can make some sort of, or make it work. Moral of the story is, I don't know what the moral of the story is, I'm not going to, anyway, let's just get into it and see what we can do. So I think the first um, point of call is I'm going to try and get that edge to line up and see if the rest of it pulls over. I have my doubts, but I'll tack the front in place, bring the back over and see if I can lay it across and see what happens. Let's go. I'm feeling a bit bad chat at the moment. <laughs> Righto, so that's the natural lay of that panel with that seam tacked in. It's a beauty, huh? Let's see if we can stretch it around. Will it? Almost. It's... Look at the flex, look at that. Pull that out. So, let me tell you, um, let me sit down. So I contacted this fella afterwards, and I said, mate, I'm not happy, it's junk. And his response was, after a couple of days, um, yeah, I know it's not very good work, it was more than, a bit off more than I could chew, um, but hopefully you can get it sorted out before the event in September. That was it. Took my money and run. Oh, 
look at this. Let me show you this. Let me just pin this down here. And I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Righto. Maybe with some really heavy manipulation, I might be able to get this to come over. The panel isn't feeling it though, but have a look at this other side now. Look at all the extra metal. It's going to need to be pie cut. Oh my goodness, man. I don't know what to do with this thing. It needs hours and hours and hours of work. Um, and that's if I can get it to work. It's that bad. All the swage lines are all warped. There's, n There's not one single piece that's good. N not one single piece. Don't know what to do. Aside from look for another one, um, which I've been trying to do for the last three years, they're not around much. That's why I've got one built by someone who said they could do it. But anyway, they obviously couldn't and um, took my money and run. So I need to have a break from this and decide what I'm going to do. It's too hot and I'm a little too pissed off right now to move on with it. So anyway. Not to be negative, I try and stay as positive as I can, but when you get ripped off like this, what do you do? Anyway, there's an update. Not a, uh, a happy update, but an update nonetheless. Stay tuned. This isn't the end of this. We'll see what we can work out. Be good to your mates and people that aren't your mates. Catch on the next one. Cheers.